Hi guys and welcome to the show. My name is Aaron Chidi and you know how I do. Today, it's been a while actually I've been here so I'm going to go straight into it. I will be breaking down everything that has been going on in Big Brother Ninja's house season 5. So if you're just joining me, you're welcome. We're going to be taking a ride from now on. Uh, let me break it down so that for those of you that are just joining us, you're welcome to the show. If you're new here, thumbs up. Welcome. Now, I'm going to take them one step at a time. We're talking about their strategies. Um, every single one of them. What's their game plan? What's their strategy? If there's any, we will break it down on today's episode of the show. So stay tuned. First on my list is Nengi. Uh, I'm sure you guys already know who Nengi is. A couple of you already know her strategy and that was because um, Katrina, you know, exposed it before she left the house. By the way, Katrina and Lilo left the house last week and tonight we're expecting another eviction night and then the process is quite tedious because apart from us voting, we also have in-house votes and that is what actually determines who eventually leaves the house. So back to Nengi. Nengi is a strong contender in the house and outside. Nengi to me is a threat to every single housemate there because she has what it takes to win. She's actually very intelligent. She's good looking. She would be a brand that every other brand would like to associate with. Even Big Brother would be proud to have Nengi uh, as their winner. But the truth is, it's not up to Big Brother. It's up to us. It's up to the viewers. And it's up to the fellow contestants in the house. So what is Nengi's strategy, you ask? And then Nengi's strategy is simple. It has been revealed already by Dorothy. It has been revealed by uh, uh, Katrina. If you're following the show, I'm sure by now you know what she's, her game plan is. She has what it takes. She has the answer. That's why I'm going, I'm talking about her first. You know, interestingly, interestingly, she's not new to fame. She's not new to the limelight. You know, she is, she has um, participated in a beauty pageant, which she won. So she knows exactly how to carry herself on and off screen. So you're looking at a very, very dangerous weapon and she knows exactly how to utilize her tools. Um, at the moment, we have guys like Ozo, Prince and the likes, Tricky T, Praise. In fact, all the guys in the house are actually being used as a tool in her game plan. She has a strategy which is to use her assets to woo the men, but she never goes to the second base with any of them. She hasn't even gone to the first. She hasn't kissed any of them. She says that if she, she only kisses, that kissing is very emotional to her and she only kisses people she has feelings for. That is her strategy, which is a good one, by the way, because off screen, on social media, she's doing fantastic well. She's like, she, she's doing fantastically, I mean. She's, she has the highest followers on, on, on social media at the moment, followed by Lekon and Dorothy and then Ozor. So you have her leading both in the house and, out, and outside. But the thing is, most of the guys, most of the people in the house already are starting to see her strategy. So they're staying on arm's length. So it might actually work against her because if you're not going to go all the way with somebody, why would that person want to keep you in the house? They don't feel safe. They don't feel, they don't feel like they know you that well. But though, though, the game is changing now because she might never get to the point where she's going to be evicted uh, or put up on, on the eviction list because we always have the least favored people with votes put up at uh, every week for the eviction we had last week we had four people we had katrina we had um, lilo we had eric and then we had praise trust me with what she has going for her i don't see her ever falling into that particular list and apart from the fact that the whole Bayesa, because she's from Bayesa, the whole Bayesa is actually behind this lady and uh, we also have tricky T from Bayesa, but uh, a large majority of them recognize the lady because of these same features that we are talking about. It sounds a little bit um, uh, chauvinistic, but that's just the truth of the game. She has this lockdown. She's using this strategy to her advantage. Enough of uh, Nengi. Let's talk about the next person on our list, which is Lekon. Lekon is that fresh guy that came into the house. A lot of people didn't really know what to expect from him because the very first day he was introduced on stage by, uh, by Ebuka, 
we, we could see someone who was rocking lights as his clothes. But unfortunately, he's proven everybody wrong, or should I say fortunately for him, because he got into the house and he's, they are starting to see that beyond his physical appearance, he's someone who is tight upstairs. Um, that's psychologically. But emotionally, though, he's still coming up. Um, that is as a result of what happened recently between him, Erica, and Kid Wire. Now we have Lekon who is someone who is still fresh out of emotional antics. He doesn't really know how to play the game. And Kid Wire is a player. He's been playing the game all his life. Listen to his name, Kid Wire. <laughs> what else do you expect from a Kid Wire? You know? So Lekon who is he's intelligent. He's an entertainer. He's a musician. He, he has a couple of songs outside and he has gone to a couple of shows outside but in the house it's a different ball game you have people from different backgrounds you have people who are coming in with a different strategy so now the question is what is Lacon's strategy that's what we should be talking about Lacon has a strategy which is to win people's hearts with his skills he doesn't hesitate to showcase that part of him you know he's very talented at some point he even told Biggie in the diary section that he he wishes he could rap he could sing to Biggie and then he's always talking about his song he's always talking about his good qualities and luckily for him we've we've had like three DJs come into the house to play for their party and then every time not every time like two of them actually played his song which is huge imagine what that means you know for a DJ that is coming to play for the house coming with your song they've heard this track they love this track and they play and he ends up vibing with, with vibing vibing on the track with his housemates and that is huge you know that is his strategy he wants to get them to see his talented side which is working very well for him both in and out of the house that's a wonderful strategy but the question now is would he still be able to maintain that strategy knowing fully well that he's having feelings for Erica that's strange that's a that's a mix he, I'm sure he didn't expect and we all whole we all <laughs> would have to thank Brito for that because he was the one pushing Lekon, tell him that he could do it. Go for it, Erica. Go for it. Even when Erica was entangled with, or should I say entangled, <laughs> it was with uh, Kid Wire, you know? And to have something with Kid Wire, of all people, he's a rich kid, you know? He's a billionaire son and he's very intelligent. At first, I didn't even see that coming from a Kid Wire because of his name. But I'm surprised. He keeps impressing me. I'm really impressed with the way Kid Wire is carrying himself. So that puts Lekon in a very tight spot. He has a strong contender. And that is going to affect him moving forward. So that is for Lekon. Now let's talk about Ozo. Ozo, Ozo, my man. You know, he's always smiling. That fresh kid. You know, the first day he introduced him to the house, I was like, who's this fine boy? I was a little bit scared, you know. I was scared for the rest of the contestants. But the truth is, when he got into the house and he's now proving himself that it's just not the fine, fresh face that you see, is there's a lot more going on within that young man. He's smart. He's a good leader. He won uh, head of house this week that just passed and he's doing quite well. They've been able to win the wager under his reign and he is doing fantastic. But the problem is we now have a stronger contender, which is Nengi. Nengi, who has a strategy to win everybody's heart with her assets, would he be able to resist it? Because he's having feeling for her. He's feeling that he's exposed, he has exposed to Dorothy, he has exposed to almost everybody that is that they cares enough to listen to what he has to say. When Katrina was still in the house, he had the same conversation with her. And Katrina told him that, look here, man, this girl is playing you. He has, she has a strategy. Be careful with the way you work with her. And she kept on, he kept on going for her, you know, which shows that he has feelings for her. At the same time, he's also having feelings with Dorothy, who happens to be his deputy. So now what is his strategy? That's a good question. Ozo's strategy is plain and simple. He's trying to win not just the guys, but the girls with his wits. And that's where the problem is. You can't win people's heart with your wits and then be emotionally attached to them you have to differentiate between them so that's his strategy he feels he's smart enough he can analyze situation he knows and he's always smiling so you won't see him coming you know but um recently um with the 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 the, the issue the clash that happened on on the stage when when we had 
then rehearsing for one of the wages, the drama, the poetic drama they had to do for last week, uh, which was directed by Tricky T, you know. So we saw someone who showed his other side, apart from the cool, calm, collected, smart, intelligent, fine boy, face-looking guy we know. <laughs> He's very emotional to the point whereby he couldn't, his temper just couldn't hold it anymore. He lashed out at Prince for not being, for not being, uh, for not staying informing them that he wanted to go ease himself uh, during the rehearsals so that side of him we didn't see though he apologized almost immediately and he demanded that prince to also uh, apologize which he did but that is one weakness that i am seeing in him it's quite emotional enough of us all let's talk about the next person on our list which is dorothy dorothy has something very good going for her you could tell from the <laughs> her presentation her the day she was introduced to the house was the day she started trending she, she has the physical appearance of somebody who doesn't really care you know she just puts it all out there but she's intelligent she has a feeling for us all and that alone creates some sort of dynamics in my opinion i don't think dorothy is playing any strategy she's just going with the flow she just believes that she has the assets, she has what it takes, and she's smart. So that's good for her, very observant. And, and she's playing the calm, cool girl that's always behind the scenes. She's not too loud, she's not too quiet, she's just in between, but she's very observant. I love Dorothy for that. Now let's talk about the next person. That's the likes of Prince. Prince is the prince of the house, you know. Everybody loves Prince. But the thing is, Prince is entangled. His strategy initially was to be able to be within everybody, every other housemate's space, especially the females. And it's been working for him to an extent because um, when Lucy won the head of house, she immediately demanded that Prince be his guy uh, as, as a deputy. And then he did that and he did it quite well. So it's working for him. All the girls are working. But at the moment, uh, there's a clash between him and Ozo for Lengi because of Lengi. And he's now rolling with Tolani Baj. And he's also having feelings with Watoni. So I think he's going overboard with that strategy. Because like I said earlier, just like the case of Ozo, you can't mix your feelings with your goals. So that's going to pull him down a bit. Let's talk about Tochi. Tochi is the cool guy. There's not really much going with that guy. He's just cool. He knows what he's doing. And he's doing it well. Let's talk about Tricky T. Tricky T, my man. He used to be the funny one in the house, but he stopped being that. He's a little bit more, you know, expressive. He's a little bit more serious, you know. He won like two or three tasks back to back uh, just this week. Uh, he directed them. So he's good. He's talented. We've gotten to see his uh, talented side, uh, <laughs> which is quite nice. Uh, let's talk about the no other person than Watoni. Watoni is emotional. Watoni is calculative. Watoni actually was the deputy to Nengi when she won the head of house. And Watoni's strategy is simple. She stay, she's planning to stay on the low key. She says a lot of things, but she probably doesn't end up doing them. But she just keeps saying them. And that's what keeping people excited about her because she has a lot to say about a lot of what she wants to do. You know, going by her conversation with Tricky T and all, she's quite intelligent. Let's talk about Lucy. <laughs> Lucy. I'm sure you guys know who Lucy is. Lucy is that big mama in the house. Always makes sure everywhere is clean. She cooks, makes sure everybody's eat, eating. And then makes sure everybody's safe. I love her. She's doing a quite a good job, if you ask me. Um, Neo and V. <laughs> They're in a relationship. They've been at it since the beginning of the show. And I still see them going further. Neo is the smart, worry young man. He's doing quite well for himself. And his strategy is simple just to play along. If it's a girl that is going to bring him the money, he goes with it. He's a smart guy. Neo on the and V on the other hand is just someone who is free spirited. She speaks well, very eloquent. And then she feels that her feelings should always come first. And it's working for her so far, you know, because going by the relationship she's having with uh, Neo, which is quite nice. Brighto, smart guy. He's the one that is always scheming out things. His plan, his strategy is to scheme out everything and see how he's going to manipulate everything to his own advantage. Talani Badge doesn't really have any strategy. There's not much to talk about her. Now she's trying to get into a relationship with Prince, but how, how long can she pull that off? You know? Let's talk about <laughs> Praise's strategy. Praise is 
the funny guy is always energetic. He wakes them all up in the morning with his exercises. He's in it for the winning. But unfortunately, he almost got evicted. So now his strategy is a little bit... Um, Eric, he was pulling the romantic thing, you know, relationship thing with Lilo. That didn't work out. He's trying to get on board with Watoni. So we're having the same vibe from him. So how long would that strategy work? So there you have it, guys. These are all the strategies of every single housemate. And we hope that moving forward this evening, we get to see who is going to be evicted so that they can all re-strategize for those that would re-strategize. And for those that will maintain the same strategy, we'd like to see how that unfolds. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. This is my show. My name is Aaron Chidi. And catch you all later. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon for instant notifications.